Now let's look at the application of SFE on a compressor. Now compressor is an energy consuming device. So that is why you see an electric motor which supplies work to this compressor which sucks in some fluid, compresses it and then discharges it. Okay. So you have some work input to this compressor. So when you have work input, so this work input would be a negative quantity. Right. And it is throwing out heat into the surrounding. So the heat that it throws out is also a negative quantity. Alright. Now, in this, the assumption is that the kinetic energy delta is almost zero. The velocities at inlet and outlet, they have very small difference. So delta Ke is almost zero. We can also assume that delta Pe is zero. Okay. So these two assumptions are there. Earlier you only had the Pe assumption, but this time you have the Ke assumption as well. Okay, so when you have these, so the SFE becomes Q dot minus W dot is equal to M dot into delta H plus delta Ke plus delta Pe. Okay, now out of these, you have this 0, you have this 0. Okay, so the equation is reduced to this q dot minus w dot into m dot into h2 minus h1 simple and even if you have some insulation around this compressor okay so if the compressor casing if the compressor casing is insulated okay then the heat flow also becomes zero, isn't it? So the work input, the work input is basically only this much, m dot into h1 minus h2. Okay. So the enthalpy difference between the inlet and the outlet states is the amount of work you have to input. All right. So this is the SFE analysis and the application of this equation onto a compressor. Now let's move on to the last application of SFE and talk about its application on a throttling device.